In this episode, I'm going to show you how I 3D model the ball and socket joints in SolidWorks. I've used these type of joints on several of my projects like this Mazinger Z. So I'm just going to hide a few parts to show you what you'll be learning. So here, I'm going to go over the, the ball joint and the socket joint. So I'm going to start off by creating a, the ball joint. Sketch on the front plane. Add some dimensions. So this one, I'm going to add an equation e uh, by, by typing in equals, selecting on this, and dividing by 2. So this way it'll always be half this number. Now the sphere is going to be 12.5 millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to be creating a cube that's also 12.5 millimeters in its height, width, and length, and then adding fillets. Actually, this will be zero, zero. Okay, now, this is a fully constrained sketch. Exit out of that one. Extrude it. I'm going to do a mid plane extrusion so it's equal on the back side and front side of the front plane. And this dimension is also 12.5 millimeters. Add some fillets. So the fillets will be half the, the dimensions on each side. So that will be uh, 6.25 millimeters. Creating a cylinder. And then adding the same fillet dimensions on both these edges. We've created a, a sphere from a cube. So the next step is adding the post and attaching it to the sphere of the ball joint. So I'm going to start off by creating a sketch on the front plane. Now the post will be 7.5 millimeter diameter. So I'm going to put 7.5 here. And this one adds the same equation equals 7.5 divided by 2. So now if you increase this one to like let's say 10, it'll get wider equally on both sides of the, the plane. We'll go back to 7.5 millimeters. And this guy right here to here is 12 millimeters. And one more dimension over here, and we'll do like 7.25. So this post will intersect the sphere. Okay, exit out of the sketch, and now we can extrude the post. We're going to be creating a rectangle and then adding fillets. I'm going to go do the mid-plane, uh, 7.5 millimeter extrusion. I unchecked the merge result because I didn't want to, I don't want to join it to the sphere at this moment. And then add fillets 
So I'm going to put 7.5 divided by 2. Or 3.75 millimeters. So there, now you have the post for the, uh, the ball joint. So we're pretty much done with the ball joint. I'm, I'm not going to add or combine the post and the sphere at this moment because I'm going to use the sphere to create the, the parts of the socket joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this, these two parts. I'm just going to move it um, 25 millimeters to the right. Uncheck the copy. Then move this again. 25, so it goes back to its original position. But this time I'm going to check the copy. So I want the socket joint to, to have a 2 millimeter wall thickness. So I'm going to have to offset the sphere by 2 millimeters. In SOLIDWORKS, it's a move face. So here's 2 millimeter offset. I'm going to OK that. Now I'm going to create the first cut on the socket joint. So I'm going to do a sketch here. This will be three millimeters from the center line of the sphere. So I'm going to just extrude that line. So I'm going to cut with surface. I'm going to use this as a cutting tool. And that arrow shows that this portion above this surface tool will be cut out. So I'm going to OK that. OK, we can hide this surface now. I'm going to use this sphere again to hollow out this uh, larger sphere. So again, type in 25 millimeters. Copy that. OK. Subtract. OK, there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a chamfer feature along this edge. Uh, the chamfer will be 1 millimeters. And instead of the default 45 degrees, I'm going to put 60 degrees. This chamfer will allow the, the ball joint to snap easier inside the socket. Another feature that I'll add to the socket will be a cut here and also on the other side. So it'll allow these, this socket to flex when you're inserting the ball joint. So I'm going to sketch on the right plane. And this cut Added some dimensions. This cut will be three millimeters wide. This dimension, I'm not going to do the equation right now, but it's going to be 1.5. So this rectangle is center. Then 5.8. Right. 
So I'm going to extrude that sketch. I'm going to do a blind, um, mid plane. I don't want to merge it. So I'm uncheck that box. Okay. Add a fillet. Add fillets on these two corners. Now the width is three millimeters, so we're going to do a 1.5 millimeter fillet, and then cut. Okay, so we, this socket has two features, chamfered and this cutaway, so both these features will help to pop in the uh, the ball joint. Okay, so the last part for the socket joint is to create a post similar to this on the bottom side. So go back to my sketch, onto the front plane, rectangle. Because this is a larger sphere, I'm going to create a larger post. This one will be 16 millimeters from the center line of the sphere. The diameter will be 8.5 millimeters. Add this dimension so it's at the center. And I want to make sure that this one This rectangle doesn't extend beyond the socket where it's hollowed out. So I think 9 millimeters will be just fine. So I'm going to extrude this, do a mid plane extrusion, uncheck the merge. This is 8.5 millimeters. Add fillets, which is half the 8.5. There you go. Now the last part, we could combine the sphere to the post and combine the socket. To its post. Uncheck the copy, move this 25 millimeters, and there you have it. This is the ball and socket joint. I'm going to hide the, um, the planes. color this really quick to, let's say, yellow, and green, and here to show you how, you know, This is, um, I'm just showing you the ball joint with a 30 degree rotation. You know, this chamfer also helps provide clearance so the post doesn't hit the socket joint. Um, gives you a little bit more degree of freedom. And there you have it, ball and socket joint. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at Big Little Design to see my latest projects. Thank you.